Got a few things to cover today here on the Transformer Slag podcast. A lot of Rise of the Beast stuff. And one little uh, Earth Spark piece of news that we're going to cover that happened over the weekend that we touched on on the Saturday night live stream. And for those who came by and enjoyed it. So let's jump into it. The first big one we're going to talk about is a whole bunch of new footage that we're getting from the Rise of the Beast movie. These aren't really trailers per se, but just scenes that are put out there by ha by uh, Hasbro and Paramount. And we got also one that came via a boxing match that happened not too long ago. The boxing match one, I'll cover that one quickly because that's the smaller one. Uh, Canelo and Ryder had a boxing match and they did a, a promo leading up to that boxing match with the... Uh, the actor Anthony Ramos, who plays Noah in the movie. And it was this like hype up for the pay-per-view kind of boxing match sort of thing. And it was overlaid with some scenes from the Rise of the Beast movie that most of it we've already seen through the trailers. But we got a little bit of extended footage of Noah inside the mech suit or whatever you want to call it, the pretender armor. And uh, gave us a good look at how it looks like and stuff. And it's very, um, it's very pretender jazz meets like you know super link energon kind of kicker in connection in there and definitely the pretender jazz kind of vibe even more when you really think about how he got that little bracelet from mirage and it has a very porsche kind of connection there and jazz is a porsche you know there's, there's a lot of weird stuff going on but um very cool that one because you get to get a, a really good look at it and I, i'm wondering if they're going to do some kind of toys or merchandise related to that because we rarely do get decent human stuff when there is any kind of human participation in any kind of shape or form. And then we got the actual scene that was shown to us. This was pretty much a unfiltered, fleshed out version of Optimus Primal meeting Optimus Prime and the Autobots meeting the Maximals and stuff. And it was pretty cool. You got like Primal showing up and interrogating Noah, like we saw in the different versions of the trailer. Then we have, you know, like a close up on Noah's gauntlet which clearly, you know, has, again, like I said, those Porsche kind of elements to it because he got it from Mirage, even like the little front headlights and stuff. Very nice little elements there. I wonder if they're going to make like a role play item out of that at some point. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, then Mirage shows up and calls Primal Donkey Kong, which is, <laughs> I, I kind of like that. It's a nice touch considering the timing of it with the Super Mario movie just like killing it in the theaters right now and uh, Donkey Kong being a big part of that too. So just perfect timing. I don't know if that was, you know, because the recording process is done so late in the development of these movies that I wonder if that was almost intentional. Uh, Cheetor shows up, tackles uh, Mirage, you know, kind of has that parallel there. There's going to be two parallels. So you have like the parallel where those are the kid friendly characters. Uh, in the case, Mirage is going to be the Bumblebee of this movie, even though Bumblebee is in the movie, but it's the Bumblebee of this movie. And Cheetor has always been like the, the kid focused character with Transformers from the beast side of things. And then the other parallel is when Wheeljack shows up and then he gets ambushed by Rhinox. And again, those are two characters that have always been linked with tech guys and designing stuff and everything. So there's that parallel. So pretty cool. Uh, Wheeljack gives a little uh, Power Rangers Alpha 5 I, I, I kind of uh, thing. And uh, Rhinox shows off his extremely loud uh, roar roaring device that's located inside his throat. And I'll tell you something, on my speakers and my computer, I was like, ooh, that's pretty loud. I can't imagine how that's going to be in theaters. They're probably going to, like, really surround sound that, but that's going to be a loud one. And then uh, RC shows up, dual wielding, attack the kitty cat. And then Prime shows up, and there's the big stand down that we've seen in the past trailers up to this point. But what I really like about this is that it shows us how much changes from a production standpoint from one step to the next, because when we first saw that stand down scene, that first trailer back in December of 2022, almost a half a year ago at this point, uh, it was a very different kind of way that it was composited and, and cropped and everything and the characters that were seen in the background. You compare it side by side, now it has all the Maximals and the Autobots hanging around, and it shows just how much changes in production just from six months, and considering we're, we're literally like weeks away from the movie debuting. So very interesting to see that. I really dig that they they did that. So let me know what you think. Pretty hype. Um, I dig it. I'm, I'm excited. Hey, there's, there's a little bit of character development in that little clip. I just hope that's not all of it. I really hope so. Because I like me my Maximals, you know. Uh, just quickly to do some non-Rise of the Beast stuff. Um, we had a quick look at the Earthspark Grimlock. There were some images, some uh, 
stock images that what got out there, both the robot mode and the alt mode. And we got one more member of the deluxe Earth Spark figures. All we're missing now is Nightshade to see how that figure turned out. And we got them all. So if you're building towards your build a figure, Dr. Meridian Mandroid, you're one step closer now. And you get the leg with Grimlock. And after that's Nightshade. And the first wave of deluxes from Earth Spark will be complete. Uh, we also have, and this is all the other big pushes for advertising with. Uh, Rise of the Beast is we have an, even more posters. It's crazy. Standees, posters, all kinds of stuff. Even more posters. We got an RC one that looks fantastic. Has Wheeljack in there too from that scene in the trailer. We got uh, Bumblebee clearly, go, clearly going up against Nightbird in the bottom half of that poster. We got Optimus Primal fighting Scorponok or Sandspear, whatever character you want to call it from the Terracons. We have Optimus Prime ramming into Scourge. We got Battle Trap, which, which clearly has, excuse me, we have Wheeljack that has like clearly battle traps, like chains going all over him and kind of just looks like, like without RC being there. And then you got Mirage with the different uh, clones of himself, the little holograms and stuff. So nice posters. There's going to be so many posters for this movie. It's pretty crazy how the advertising is going to be for this. And I hope the advertising isn't too crazy to the point that it offsets the profits of the movie. But again, it's been a while since we've had a Transformer movie. They really want the world to know that, hey, we're back and here's some stuff. And speaking of some cool stuff, Tokyo Toy Show was also just last weekend. There was a whole bunch of images that finally are surfacing and everything. And we got our very first look, a little bit, it's not the best images, but the first look at the Studio Series Leader Class Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime. Brand new tooling, very different from his uh, Voyager Class Bumblebee counterpart. A little larger, brand new tooling. I like how he even has the flip out arm cannon that we see in the trailer there. So all the nice little detail with that. I dig it. I think it looks fantastic. Again, now I just want to see, let's see our leader class Optimus Primal. And then we're uh, we're off to the races pretty much for this movie. And uh, the last thing that we're going to cover is, and this is, you know, hmm, it seems that uh, Singapore is going to see the movie before all of us. Uh, Singapore has the exclusive rights to see the movie early, and they're going to have the world premiere in Singapore and it'll be happening on Proto Man's birthday. It's going to be my birthday when this happens. Saturday, May 27th, 2023. So those lucky guys in Singapore will be seeing the movie before all of us. And hopefully, I hope that, you know, because this is like two weeks before the rest of the world. Uh, we get to see it June 9th, 2023. Hopefully in those two weeks or so, uh, we don't get too much spoilers that are going to be getting out there. So just keep that in mind, too, that May 27th is when uh, one part of the world is going to see it. And then you're going to pretty much have to avoid social media for two weeks because uh, there's probably going to be a lot of stuff getting out there. So let me know what you think, guys. Pretty hype stuff. Otherwise, a lot of Transformer news all dumped in one spot. Uh, probably going to get more later this week. we got Transformer Tuesday tomorrow and a bunch of other things. So stay tuned for that. We'll talk to you again on the Transformer Slag podcast. And I hope you enjoyed yourself. <laughs>